Okay, boys and girls, yesterday we took a look at our packet. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna select 12 topics that we might be able to write about. And we're gonna put stars next to them so that you can, you know, get your ideas kind of flowing in your head. Tomorrow we're gonna start honing in on how to write a really good paragraph. But for today, we're just gonna pick our top 12. This shouldn't be too difficult. Please don't make it difficult. If you have to pick 13, that's fine. If you only come up with 10, you're gonna have to think like a teacher and go, what are the other two that I could write about? Okay? So, if we're going ahead and looking at our packet, um, our packet, again, you know, page one has all of our requirements and why we're doing this. Um, page two is where we start. So what you're gonna start to do, um, and like I said, if you come up with more than 12, that's okay. We're gonna go through these one at a time and put a star next to them if we can do them. And it's really basic. This won't take but maybe five minutes. So you start at number one, my nickname page. If you have a nickname, you're gonna put a star next to it because it's something you could write about. So I do have several nicknames. Um, I think I told you guys my nickname in high school was Poe. And I will tell you that story again if you can't remember it. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and use my pencil and I am going to put a star next to my nickname page. This is one that I could write a paragraph about, okay? I'm gonna go to number two, what I was born to do. And I'm gonna look at it from when I was a kid. When I was a kid, did I, did I have an idea of some things that I wanted to do? I absolutely wanted to be two things. I wanted to be three things, a rock star, I wanted to be a baseball player, professional baseball player, and I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, so that is definitely one that I can write about. Now I know that I have to choose one thing that I was going to do, one nickname, um, not two, not three, one, okay? So you can't get bogged down by two or three. We're choosing one topic, not two. So I would have to pick, so I, I would say astronomy is the one that's in my head. I wanted to be an astronaut, okay? So that's what I would probably pick. Now. If you want to add, um, you know, what you're going to write about right above it, you can see like right now I'm writing Poe above my nickname page. I'm writing astronaut right above what I was born to do. Um, you, you can do that as well. Don't worry about spelling. Okay, we'll fix spelling when we need to fix spelling. Um, what I fear most, if you fear something or right now or did when you were a kid, you know, go ahead and start that one. Um, I'm gonna write about spiders. I am not afraid of spiders anymore. When I first came here as a teacher, I was deathly afraid of spiders. But something has happened over the past five years that I'm not, I'm afraid of certain spiders, big spiders I'm a little bit afraid of, but the little ones not so much anymore, like the black widows that are in my house. Maybe in North Carolina, maybe I've seen so many of them, I'm just not afraid. Um, my favorite gift page comes next. That is definitely something that I could write about. I'm gonna put a little star next to that. Um, I have lots of favorite gifts. The, the one that I'm thinking of the most, again, was that baseball for my grandpa. So I'm gonna go ahead and write baseball there. Um, my bad habit that I can't seem to break, um, I do have that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a star there. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, um, you can pick all 20. It's gonna make it really hard for you when you write your paragraphs. So now that I've got my five, I'm gonna actually put a, a check mark next to the ones I know that I'm gonna write about for sure. Um, I know I'm gonna write about my nickname. Uh, I know that I'm gonna write about what I was born to do. I know I'm gonna write about what I fear most and I know that I'm gonna write about my favorite gift. So I've got four on that page. I need eight more. All right, I'm gonna go to page two. My proudest moment. I'm gonna have lots of proudest moments, but this one has always been hard for me. Um, so I'm not gonna do this one, but if you can think of a moment that you're proud of, you're gonna to wanna to write something there. Uh, my favorite TV show, movie, or YouTube page. Uh, I'm actually gonna talk about a YouTube page, so I'm gonna put a star next to this. Uh, I'm gonna be writing about Good Mythical Morning. Um, they're friends of mine. Uh, they used to be friends of mine. I haven't talked to them in about five years, but they used to live in the same town that I, went to that I was a teacher in, and I taught their kids. So Good Mythical Morning. Uh, my favorite fruit, so if there's a, you know, I mean, I think we can all, now someone once said, Mr. P, can we pick my favorite TV show and my favorite YouTube page? Yes, but you'd have to do two different paragraphs. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing all three, but you could probably talk me into it. 
my favorite fr fruit or food page. This is absolutely, definitely something I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be writing about spaghetti. I always spell this wrong. That's okay. I don't care about spelling right now. I think I spelled it right there. My curiosity page. Now, this is where I could write about space, but I'm already going to write about being an astronaut. So I think I'm going to talk about space there. So I am not going to write about that. But if you are curious about something, you know, why do worms crawl across concrete when it rains and then dry up and die? My home page, that's what I generally write about uh, because I love my home here uh, in, in, in McCain where I grew up but on Mayfair Drive, but Chase Webster lives there now. That's his house. And I told Chase last year that I was going to stop writing about his house for at least one year. So I'm not going to write this one. But if you have an awesome home you can't wait to get to when you get out of school, definitely want to write about that because it's something that would be really cool for you to share. Okay? And I'm going to check mark both of these. Um, why don't you go ahead and check mark the ones you're going to write about as well. So I have four on that front page and I have two on this page, so I'm up to six. I need six more. My best talent page. Um, I have a lot of things that I do. I don't know that I have a lot of things that I'm awesome at. Um, if I were to do something here, it would be writing, but that seems ironic. So I'm not going to do it. If you have a talent that you want to write about, most kids do this one. Don't pass it up, unless you've already used your talent in something else. Um, but, you know, maybe you change that. Maybe you change it, like, if you're a great dancer, but you've already talked about dancing in another paragraph, you change this one to dancing and go back to that other paragraph and change it. I am going to do my calming activity page, so I'm going to go ahead and put a, a, a star there. Um, I'm going to be talking about running, especially because I want it to motivate me to run some more. But it could be playing Xbox, it could be reading, it could be sleeping, taking a nap. Um, something like that. But remember, something you can write a paragraph about. The most patient person I know, I'm going to go ahead and put a star there. And the most patient person I know ever in my life is my grandfather, but I'm already talking about him with, with my gift. So I think what I'm going to do here is talk about Mr. Hutch. Um, this is one where um, I've gotten picked by lots of kids. Mr. Hutch gets picked by lots of kids. Miss Wismer gets picked by lots of kids. Miss um, McIntyre gets picked by lots of kids. A lot of kids pick teachers, um, but don't feel like you have to. Uh, think of other people that are patient. You know, it could be parents, it could be grandparents. But remember, if you do mom or dad, or do grandma or grandpa, there's another place to do that, starting with number 14, my loving mother page. Um, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm not gonna do mother or father. Um, for this one. Um, but of course, if you have a mom, a grandma, an aunt, or even someone super close that you want to write about, but really think this through, okay? Um, think about this. Someone that, that really is there for you, okay? I am going to do my lonely page. I'm going to put a star there. And um, I just, I remember lots of different times where I felt lonely, but I'm going to talk about when I was 11. Um, and uh, I call it the Mike Maloney incident. incident. Uh, someone's going to watch this video and go, I know Mike Maloney. He's, he was my best friend growing up. So, if you know Mike, hi Mike. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn the page. Um, oh, so how many do I have on that page? I have three. So I know that I need, I'm going to go ahead and check that those three off. So I know on this back page, I better have three. And if I don't, that's okay. Remember on the first page, I think I starred five, all five, I can go back and I can add two more on there if I want to. Oh, the bad mood page. Whew. I'm going to go ahead and do the bad mood page and I'm going to put talking over. People talk over me, I lose it. I do it sometimes too. And then I have to go, oops. Um, so if you, you know, if something puts you in a bad mood, talk about it. Again, something you write a paragraph about. Number 17, I'm definitely going to talk about horrible illness. I'm going to talk about my horrible illness of pneumonia. I definitely don't know how to spell this, so that's going to be misspelled, but hopefully I got close. Um, when I was in, set in first grade, um, I missed Valentine's Day. Um, it turned into a pretty good story. Number 18, my loving father. Again, if you have a male role model or if you have any sort of unique situation that you want to come and talk to me about, I'm okay with that. Um, usually this is set aside for, for male role models, but it can be, you know, like I said, mother and father, you know, can be 
something creative, you just have to come and let me know. Okay, uh, my respect page. I definitely have lots of people that I respect. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and star this one. This is definitely one that I can write about. Um, if I were to write about my respect page, gosh, who should I choose? Um, I am going to choose uh, my, um, I'm gonna choose my baseball coach, Ace Radovich. He was uh, a really great coach and uh, made me a really good baseball player, I thought, but you know, I could just be level zero. Uh, but he was um, he was he was somebody who I really really listened to my grandfather would be number one on the list there so and then finally my protest page um, I definitely have lots of things here that I would write about um, I think that I am going to protest um, pay for teachers should be better I actually think I get paid pretty well for what I do um, but could it be more? Probably. So I'm going to talk about the things that I do and the things that all teachers do, really. And those of you that have parents who are teachers know that make me think we should maybe get more money. Um, I'm not, I don't want to be a millionaire anymore. I wouldn't hurt. I'd love to be a millionaire. But, you know, that's what I'm going to protest. Okay, so maybe there's something there for you. You know, I, I once had a long conversation with a child who thought that, that we should have more um, who thought that we should have more uh, recess. And we did some research and found some countries that do more recess and have wonderful test scores and wonderfully smart kids. Okay, so this is what I expect you guys to be working on today. Um, come up with your top 12. Um, I needed to come up with three. I'm gonna check mark bad mood. I'm gonna check mark um, horrible illness and I'm gonna check mark my protest page and there are my 12. There is one more page to this. Um, don't worry about that. That is an assessment that we don't do anymore. So don't have to worry about it, okay? All right, um, that's it. So you, part of your homework today, and hopefully you did it while you were doing it with me. You could have paused and, and played while you were watching this. Um, this is definitely one of those things where you could um, get this done pretty quickly, okay? Please, tomorrow, come in with 12 selected, all right? Uh, you can send a screenshot, that would be awesome if you want to, um, to come along with your free write, but this shouldn't take you too long, all right? All right, kiddos, have a great day. Um, I definitely, definitely will see you tomorrow, and if for any reason I can't, whew, more videos. Um, I, I, it'll take a lot to keep me out for three days, okay? Miss you guys, hate being out of school. Can't wait to see you all. Have an amazing night.